Let's talk about our PE expectations. Follow these expectations, we're gonna have a great fun time in class and we're gonna learn some things too. There are three categories, respect yourself, respect others, and respect this place. Number one, stay on your feet. When you stay on your feet, you're playing safe. If you purposely fall down, that could cause some problems, somebody could trip over you. But if you do accidentally fall down, then we know that we can come over and help you out. Number two, have fun and do your best. Having fun and doing your best, everything that we do in here is gonna be lots of fun. And then you always wanna do your best, because when you do your best, that's how you learn and that's how you grow. Remember, growth mindset, grit, grace, all of those come into play here. Have fun, do your best. Number three, wear athletic shoes. Athletic shoes are shoes that are closed toed and you can tie them up or you can Velcro them or they're a really tight slip-on. I wouldn't recommend using slip-ons because if you're kicking, you could kick that shoe and it go flying across the gym. You shouldn't wear open toed shoes because if you're kicking, you could really hurt your toe or somebody could possibly step on your toe and that would not feel very good. So try to stay away from sandals, stay away from shoes um, like boots. Those are not very appropriate either. They can cause you to slip and fall. Number four, listen to others. While I'm talking or Coach Clapp or Coach E are talking, make sure that you listen so that way you know what the rules are for the game and you know how to play the game and you know the correct skills that you need to do during the game. Don't talk to other people because it's very distracting to not only yourself, but to the other people around you. Number five, use good sportsmanship. Using good sportsmanship is great when we are playing the games because that will make everybody want to play. If you have somebody that's on your team and you're constantly telling them, hey, you did a great job, good job throwing that ball, you threw with nice accuracy, that makes them want to be a better player. They're like, yeah, somebody did, I did something good and somebody saw that. But when you go negative and you tell them, oh man, you're terrible, I can't believe you did that, they're more likely not going to want to play anymore. And that's not going to help anybody out. So we always want to encourage. Also, we don't want to say at the end of the game, say things like, oh, you cheated, they cheated. Because when you do that, they may not have cheated. They probably just played really well. And usually that's the way it is. But when you call somebody a cheater, then they're going to be defensive and they're going to come back. Oh, we didn't cheat. You guys cheated. And it just causes big problems. Always say positive things like, hey, great game or we had really fun playing, thanks for joining us. Things like that will make us be more successful in PE. Number six, control your voice level. Controlling your voice level is very important. Coach Clapp and I, were pretty old, and those high-pitched screams that some of you like to do, those hurt our ears. You can get loud, that's totally fine. Just don't take it to that next level when it's really extremely loud. <laughs> then you're always paying attention to us and you can hear the music, and you can hear us whenever we get your attention. But if you scream, that may not be able to happen. Number seven, use equipment correctly. Using the equipment correctly is a big thing. We have equipment that's used for specific purposes, and we like to keep that equipment so that we can use it all the time. And if you grab a tennis racket, and you're just slamming it on the ground, that's gonna break the, ten the tennis racket, and we don't want that. I would rather get new equipment for you and new games for you to play rather than replacing the old things that we already have. Everything that we have should last us a long time as long as it's taken care of. So make sure that you use the equipment the way it's been instructed and it will last much longer. Number eight, take care of our gym. At the end of class, we're gonna be cleaning everything up, putting the balls away. We've talked about, or we will talk about, how to put equipment away. That also means if you see something on the floor, it might not be yours, but if you could go ahead and pick it up and throw it away, that helps take care of our gym and keeps it clean for the next class that comes in. And always make sure that when you get a Kleenex or you get a Band-Aid, you throw all that in the trash can. We don't want to see anything around here that's making it dirty because we want to take care of our gym. And it just looks nice.